Hello friends, once again welcome to the webinar and last time you know we talked about a very interesting topic that how emotions are handled in our brains and we talked that there are two centers in our brain, one at the base of the brain acts as a negative center and one right here in the frontal parts of our forebrain is a center which acts like a positive node where we have positive emotions and we know we, whenever the energy is reaching higher up you know we are always more calm more alert and more centered in ourselves and we also realize that there are many ways to actually awaken this center in our four brains and we found that simple breathing techniques where we inhale in a regulated manner how the nerve endings here at the top of the nasal bridge they are just lying in close proximity to the switch that we are talking in the frontal lobes and when we do a certain a certain you know modulated breathing patterns then how these four brains get stimulated and there are other ways of stimulating this four brain of ours and we have music is one of those which we have already covered and today we'll see that this energy how this energy can come more freely into the frontal parts when our posture is right so today we'll be devoting some time because off late we have observed that people are battling with many of the physical problems and not only physical but many of the mental you know issues just because their posture is not right and today we'll see like uh, sometimes you know people might say that oh yes i know that posture is uh, beneficial for my back and for my neck and shoulder problems but what can it do for my mood and what it can do for my you know mental attitudes and tendencies but we'll see that how it not only gives us a good robust physical health but also gives us more mental clarity and how it affects our mental attitudes and tendencies and before i begin i would like to share with you that the yoga philosophy which is which uh, we always like to share in these webinars of ours gives us a very important understanding of how our physical bodies they work if you see that right in our physical right in the center of our physical body we have an energy axis if you see uh, if you can feel that right from the lower end of our body up till the top of our head and up till this area there is actually an energy axis which is running right through the center of the body which acts as the fulcrum you know yoga philosophy tells us that this energy axis is actually the the central axis around which the physical body or the physical you know functions of our body they are shaping up we can all also say that this energy axis is actually the blueprint on which the functional and the physical aspects of our physical body are dependent so once this energy axis is right we can be assured that our physical body and mind will function to the optimal capacity and uh, we also we will see that how this posture affects our breathing you know sometimes what we have observed that people are actually not breathing normally and uh, we will like to see with the, di the help of a diagram that how this natural process of breathing is so vital for us if we are not breathing naturally then it will affect our physical well-being as well as our mental well-being and how posture and breathing are interrelated this also will share in this talk so let me begin with a brief this diagrammatic representation of just to show you how this breathing pattern is affected you know right up here through our nasal passages when we are inhaling the air through this area there is a tube that runs through our nose and throat and it goes into the windpipe and then it bifurcates and reaches into our lungs we have two lungs one on each side and these lungs are actually encased in a chest wall which is made up of ribs which are bony cage like structures and right here below the lungs we have an important you know muscular tissue 
which we call in the you know medical language diaphragm and it is this diaphragm acts more just like you know an air pump works just when you fill air in an air pump it is a manual air pump i'm talking that when you pull it pull the handle the negative pressure is created in the pump and it can suck air from the environment so similarly when this diaphragm is going down then it creates a negative pressure in the chest cage as a result we inhale air normally and it goes into the into the lungs and uh, the lungs are filled with the air and not only the air we imbibe this gives us oxygen but actually through the air our bodies are also inhaling energy through the cosmic source so when when this diaphragm is moving down it is helping us to take the air inside and then as a result of it the abdomen slightly moves out and when the reverse happens the diaphragm comes back to its position it retraces it regresses backwards and the air normally as elastic push is pushed out of the lungs and it comes out through our nostrils so this process is happening each time when we are inhaling the diaphragm is going down and when we are exhaling the diaphragm is coming back to the normal position it is acting like a piston and air is moving in and out of our bodies but then sometimes you know we it is a very natural process but what happens is that what i have observed in my medical practice that many of us have actually forgotten this natural process of breathing i would like to share with you one story in fact it is a it is a it is an encounter which i recently had with one of my patients and this lady came to my clinic and she was uh, very anxious when she entered into my chamber and she was really you know huffing and puffing and she was telling me that doctor please do something for me and i am not able to get enough air into my lungs something is wrong seriously with me and i just uh, observed her and i just made her relax and then i examined her i examined her blood pressure i saw her chest and i found that things were pretty normal and then i realized but this lady was very anxious i mean she was saying that doctor you must do something and i am i am in terrible distress and i realized that uh, she was actually not breathing normally which was very unusual and uh, but in order to make her understand i told her that okay let us sit down and let's just relax for a while and i will help her to understand that why your breathing process is actually not normal and this is causing the most of the trouble that you are feeling and so we did a simple exercise which i would like to do with you also and let us now sit comfortably and we would like to have our one hand placed on our chest and the other hand placed on our abdomens and let us now just do simple breathing very relaxed through our noses each time we are inhaling and exhaling allow the breath to move freely without any tension at all and while you are breathing just observe the movements of the hands carefully observing whether the hand on the chest is moving more or the hand on the abdomen is moving more or they are equally moving keep on breathing normally just keep this observation in your mind how this hand movement is happening and now let's see what did you find if you feel if you found that the hand on the abdomen was moving more than the hand on the chest then you are a natural breather and we don't have to you know go into into it any more but then if it is otherwise then probably you have you are not breathing normally which is not physiological and uh, many of the issues could be of anxiety and depression could be related with the breathing pattern you know recently they did a study sometime back uh, in the university of chicago and they found that people those who are not breathing diaphragmatically they were more prone to have high blood pressures 
and they were more prone to have anxiety and panic episodes. They were more likely to have depressions. And just when they changed the breathing pattern and they, when they came back to normal, their chances of depression and uh, their anxiety came down drastically. And I also told the same to my, to my patient and she, I just told her that, have you ever observed a newborn breathing? You know, we always like to relate to the pictorial memory which we always have in our brains and this helps us in, your, in, in realizing like where I'm going wrong. And so I asked her and she told me that yes, when the newborn is moving, it is the abdomen which is you always find moving more briskly as compared to the chest. So you see the nature always has sent us into this world with a normal breathing pattern and somehow we don't know why we have acquired this wrong habit of breathing through our chest which is the reason why we feel so much of fatigue all the time because we are not imbibing enough energy through the breath itself. And uh, the lady was pretty much convinced and she told me that yes, she would be now keeping a watch on the breath because she, this is something you know which initially we'll have to put a conscious effort in learning because if it is a wrong habit then obviously it needs a, the, the habit needs changing. And one of the easiest way to do is that when you lie down, you will realize that you automatically start breathing through the abdomen because the abdomen is relaxed during that time. And so when you, when you lie down for a while, you can do this exercise at home that uh, you, will, you will naturally feel that you are breathing through the abdomen and then keeping that awareness intact, then again sit down and now again try to breathe naturally through your stomach, keeping your stomach relaxed and you will realize that by and by you will again get back to this natural habit of breathing through the diaphragm. But then coming back to our topic of the posture, that how posture is related with the breathing pattern. You know, people when they not sit properly, this breathing is also hampered and as a result, because breath is intimately linked with the, with the energy, the amount of breath that goes into our lungs, whatever is our breathing capacity, determines how much energy is actually reaching into our cells. So there, bodies are working to, 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 I mean, less than the optimal capacity of their function. And let us do one more exercise. I would just, uh, let us, you know, sit in a very awkward posture, whatever it, may, it might look funny to you, but then try this because it would be very, very nice to see like how our posture actually affects the energy levels. Let us not try to sit in a very awkward, I don't know, cramped position and you know when our spines are bent, sometimes you know we are not aware of it but on our working desk we are sitting like this with a slouched back and then now just see how our breathing is happening. Just see how, are you able to breathe properly when, you, when my spine is bent and my you know posture is like this? Yes, you are not, you, we are not able to and now just change your posture. Now sit comfortably keeping your back straight your hands the palms upturned and they are in your lap and you can also see that the elbows are actually pointing backwards so that your shoulder blades are slightly drawn in your shoulders are very much relaxed and your chest is out and keeping your neck relaxed chin parallel to the floor and now just focus on the breathing Keep your stomach relaxed and now once again inhale normally through the nose and feel the difference not only with the ease, how much ease there is that how air is freely able to enter into your lungs in this posture as compared to the previous one when we were sitting in a very awkward bent spine posture and also see how this posture is making difference to your energy and mental attitudes. Let us again go back to the previous one. You know, sometimes we are sitting like this and we hardly pay any attention to how we are sitting. And if you are sitting like this, just try to feel. How, how am I feeling? Am I feeling energetic? Am I feeling alert or more sluggish? And whereas when I sit like this, when, I, when my back is straight, and my chest is out, my shoulders are relaxed, how do I feel? Do I feel more relaxed? Do I feel more alert in my mind? 
you know, a little bit of experimentation I think would be enough to give you an idea what I'm talking because when we just talk sometimes it is it appears all theory but when we do it we realize that yes it is making difference to my mental activities and also giving me strength so let us enumerate some of the benefits that you might have also noticed which uh, would be very helpful that why is it important to have a right posture so if I talk of the benefits Then let us enumerate them here that first of all when you sit upright you naturally feel more alert and what else you must have felt you might have also felt that energy is reaching more freely into the frontal aspects of our brain and since this is the seat of joy and this is the seat of solutions this is the seat of clarity so somehow when earlier you were feeling sluggish and you were feeling depressed you feel that you are more joyful and you feel more enthusiasm and not only that you would also realize that when our chests are out the breath is moving freely into our lungs it also gives us a kind of readiness that yes I am ready to face any challenge any opportunity that is going to come in my way because you see when we are sitting with the back with the, with the bent spine or we, when we are walking with the bent spine you know it gives us a, an attitude of timidity or fear but suddenly you know when the chest is out when you are sitting upright it gives you a kind of a warrior pose it gives you a feeling that yes I'm ready to face all the challenges that are going to come in my life so you know it gives you a kind of fearlessness and courage which are naturally coming to you because of the right posture and that is why I think in this training of the soldiers it becomes you know very important they, some, they, they, they drill into their minds yes they have to walk straight they have to sit straight and they have to you know keep their spine always straight because it makes so much of difference to their bodies as well as not only to the bodies but also to the mental frame of our minds and not only you know these things are helpful in our day to day lives but you will see that the quality of your meditation will change when you will pay attention to your postures sometimes you know people might feel oh, this is something you know very very simple and uh, but off late I was reading an article by one of the yoga acharyas and she and he said in that article that even I was not aware that how how wrongly I was sitting in my posture even sometimes when we when we start when we begin our meditation we are very alert and we are aware but when we are into our meditation we sometimes forget and we have no idea that we have actually gone into a wrong posture so it does make sense to keep periodic checking that how the postures are there and so with, with those uh, positives let us now discuss that how what can we do how can we change how we can help how what are the things we should bring in our day-to-day -day life which will help us in keeping our posture straight so you know here I would like to share with you that these back muscles and especially the muscles of the back and the muscles of the neck they are doing a lot of hard work when we are standing and doing our work in our day-to-day -day lives and they require a lot of energy and sometimes you know we are not able to sit in an upright posture because our backs are aching they have not enough energy as a result they are not able to give you that strength so that we can sit comfortably and in order to strengthen our back muscles you know in our yoga teachings they always say that the front of the bodies you should you should visualize that as a as a bow and the the back muscles are actually like strings so when these strings are completely taut and firmly anchored then our body is in the ready bow position and you will find that concentration comes naturally to you but then how to strengthen the back muscles you will you uh, I would just like to remind you of the energization exercises that we do and almost all of us uh, are, are encouraged to do those exercises twice a day at least but I would say that people those who have weak backs and those who have 
not enough energy in their back muscles and in their neck muscles, I would advise them to do those set of exercises specifically which are meant for back and neck muscles to do more often. Maybe they can repeat those sets four times, five times in a day and see how their backs are naturally strengthened and they will be able to handle, uh, they will be able to sit in a comfortable posture, in an upright posture naturally. And more apart from that, you know, this is, uh, I would also say that people should people should observe them themselves carefully. It would be, you know, nice. Sometimes, you know, we are not aware of how our posture, but if we tell somebody that, okay, please tell me if my posture is not right, then they would, they, it, it, it becomes, you know, it, 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 it is a consciously, you know, we are aware that how am I sitting? You know, some of, some people have also recommended that you can watch yourself in the mirror when you're sitting, because this gives us a feedback or even it would be a nice idea to get ourselves videographed the way we are sitting in our usual positions and uh, the way we the way we are walking because many times you know when we are working in the kitchen or when we are working on a working desk or when we are just sitting in our living room or we are just waiting for somebody in the lounge you know those are the times when we just uh, go passive and you know we just like to slouch or you know have a bent spine and we are not even aware so it, it will make a good you know, exercise to be consciously aware and give, give, keep a kind of a reminder to yourself even when we are sitting in the meditation. You can have a 5 minute reminder on your, on your mobile or, in, or anything else which can just give you a reminder that okay yes this is the time I must check the posture is it right and you see gradually you will build this habit of sitting upright and walking upright. And I would also like to uh, share with you that uh, it would be a nice idea, in fact, to watch the saints. How do they sit? Especially our line of masters, you should see some of the videos of Yogananda. How is he sitting in the pictures? And, you know, uh, Swamiji, when he, when he gives talks on the videos, and there are many videos available, you would be amazed that to see that if you have not observed earlier that how he walks, he always used to walk with a straight spine. Even when delivering a talk, his spine always used to be straight, chest out like a general. And uh, these are the small things, you know, which uh, help us in bringing our energy back to ourselves. So I would like to ask, uh, in fact, my associate here if we have any questions. But if we do not have any, then I would uh, like to, you know, go back to the same topics because this is the final topic in the series which we were discussing with you, the health and healing session. And uh, it, it is, these are actually very simple topics. These are very simple things which we have to keep in our minds that how we sit and how we, how we, because, you know, many times, you know, people have no idea that how the simple maneuvers can actually make a big change. In their, uh, in their alertness and in their mental moods. But uh, it requires a little experimentation, I would say, because sometimes we just pass it that, okay, this is uh, something, you know, very common and which we have already discussed many times. But uh, it does really make, it, 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 is, it is a kind of an investment that we always make that, yes, daily I must make it a habit of, you know, checking. And one more thing I would like to share that sometimes, you know, Many of us may feel that sitting upright can be so draining. I mean, it could be fatiguing. It might appear to you, you know, in the beginning, because we are not, if we have a wrong habit of, you know, taking always supports and uh, slouching. Once in a while, it is okay. But then uh, you will realize that by and by, when you will have this this upright posture habit, that it is the one of the most relaxed way to sit and to stand. And because you will see that the per capita expenditure of energy in this posture is always minimum. And you will be more, you will feel not only relaxed physically, but also mentally. As they say that when the bow is in the right posture, when the body is in a bow position, the strings are taut and your mental frame is right here at the point of the soul awareness, then we are ready to face any challenge in our life. You know, this will not only give you the strength, physical as well as mental, but it will keep you prepared and always give, stay, stay, uh, keep you stay in the ready mode of accepting all the opportunities that are coming in your way. So with that, I think I would take your leave with many blessings from the great masters and I would say that have a great week ahead. Thank you.